Welcome back to another official Daz podcast. As y'all can tell, I moved back at home. We back at home, and let me tell y'all, I am so glad I survived the spring semester. Let me tell you because it was a lot, y'all. Like I passed my math class, and I'm like so excited. Like I don't know how I did it, but the the Lord did. And speaking of the Lord, y'all know the topic we talking about. And this is a topic I want to talk about in this podcast because I feel like we look for love. We look for for somebody to be there for us. But, you know, we look we looking for the right friends. But, but, you know, don't go looking for friends when you got God and Jesus. Like, them your little tw- twin we be vibing. Like, them the twins you need to be, like, really staying close. Like, them going to be your close friends throughout your life. They ain't going to leave your side. They ain't going to backstab you or none of that. So that's what I want to talk about in this podcast because we get older and we want certain things. But, you know, stop chasing after people because people going to always disappoint you. They're going to always do something that just, just piss you off. But you knowing that you got God and Jesus that ain't going to backstab you, that's going to be through, be with you through the good and bad, that's what you have to really look at because people gonna always disappoint people gonna always not do right you know god is always gonna do right he always gonna be there in open hands be there and support you when you're happy when you're sad crying depressed and all that like you can't find a friend like that like nothing compares to god and jesus and that's what i want to talk about in this podcast and to remind y'all even though y'all know but we still be going through it we still be going through it. We be wanting a man. We be wanting this and that. So that's why I wanted to kind of share share this in this episode. But y'all stay tuned. I'm finna have a website where y'all can have an email to get notified for podcasts. So stay tuned for that. I will have my social medias linked down in the below for y'all to stay tuned for more content. Just for more upcoming things I have for this summer. And my Spotify too. I am lacking with that but i'll be posting all the episodes i did on spotify so y'all can just hear it without looking at the videos as well so and i'll be having some things in store for y'all as well for just supporting me along this way but stay patient with me because the growth is going to be growth in trust and believe hope y'all feeling safe and blessed if y'all want me to subscribe to y'all back just put it down in the comments below i love supporting each other we are trying to make it and it's not easy but hey we got this. The Lord will make a way. But yes, y'all, I hope y'all feeling blessed. I, I pray for y'all as well, too. I don't just pray for me and my family. I pray for y'all as well, too. So I am, you know, hope y'all feeling safe and prayed up out there. Keep doing what you're doing every day. Staying positive and keep working towards your goal every day and work on them summer goals. If you haven't seen my last podcast episode, I talked about, a lot about planning your summer goals. Like, summer is a good it's a summer to relax but also to kind of work on your goals as well but further ado let's get started into the topic so i just want to kind of be like i know we all kind of wanting that love and that real love and all that and that's fine because you know but you would always want god over that because he knows he know he know he know how to give you good love. He knows how to give you that good soulmate that'll treat you right and not hurt you. Cause trust me, you do not want to be hurt. That's like a a funeral type of pain. Like you lost someone, but you ain't really lost someone, but they still alive. But it's just like they out your life and stuff. So I kind of want to talk about that. Cause you know, either way, you know, you want God's hands over you, whoever you put in your life. So you, he he'll know who's the right one and in your long season as well he'll know what what's the right people in your life what's the type of man you need that in your life because you kind of want God all over that too so that's like my reminder because you know we're looking for love and stuff and I've seen people been desperate for love too and just kind of just settling for less and knowing that it hurt them at the end so you do not want to be that type of person as well like the work the way is worth it and with god's hands over it it's 100 percent worth it so you want to do that and don't look out for love while you're waiting because it's gonna everything good things happen unexpected so when you're looking for love it's gonna happen unexpected so you're expecting it and it's not gonna be expected 
good things are surprises like with christmas presents they are surprised that's why they wrapped up in a gift so that's an important thing so you know you want to keep that in mind when you wanting things they're going to happen unexpected but you have to have the patience and faith we all struggle with patience nowadays because it's hard times we seeing things on social media comparisons but each timing is different everybody timing is not different trust me if everybody timing was the same and we all had the money success we won't we won't see we won't see we won't see nobody on the streets begging for money because everybody blessed but everybody is blessed but it does take hard work a lot of mountains a lot of sacrifice a lot of losses a lot of pain to reach to that level of where you want to be at so it's not easy and just look at it that way you're you're heading in the right direction but it's gonna take a lot to get to that direction even other people that are rich poor or born into a rich family they got to work for it too and kind of do the same thing everybody else doing so that's what i want to kind of say so don't look for a man don't look for a best friend or that type of girl group like just focus on jesus look for jesus and god that's who you need to be looking for when you going through it look for them because they're gonna always be there you don't need to look for them but as i'm saying you know you want to keep them as your two first close friends you know, we all want that best friend, but you always want to keep, even if you have a best friend, but keep God and Jesus as your best friend because they going to look out for you. They're just going to, they're just going to do, they're going to give what it's supposed to give. They're not going to kind of just leave you in the dirt. You know, they ain't going to, they ain't going to hurt you like other people. You wouldn't have to like worry. You know, they're going to warn you about people that ain't supposed to be in your life and they're going to put people out your life. That's why I say have God's hands on your life too, because we got we got the good and bad. You know, I talk about I talk about positivity, but there is some bad out there in that world. You want to keep a lookout for that and always be conscious and pray about things. So you don't want to let anybody towards your life or in your circle. You always want to keep that circle small as well. And it's good to be cordial with people and even with your enemies as well. Congratulate them and don't don't too much worry about them because they ain't worth it them be the main ones trying to get back in your life but you know not to let them back in your life because you know when you you know what they're going to be there for to destroy you and to take all they want from you because they they're enemies enemies are something you not want to have in your life but you always want to forgive them and not hold grudges within them and put them in god's hands that's that's an important thing and that'll that'll forgive yourself for going through that and forgive even with a man as well even people that have done something wrong Forgive them and forgive yourself and know that you won't they that you won't have them in your life no more. You won't have to deal with that no more. So that's what I wanna say. You know, um yeah, like I say, God and Jesus, they're not gonna let you down, but people will let you down. So you won't have to like worry about that because God, he gonna he gonna always be there. He gonna be there when you when you when you need some help financially, when you broke, when you needed to get that rent paid. When you're going through family issues, like he gonna be there to fix things. He helped heal and fix things, and he he helped heal you and, and and form you into a better person that you are, and really just put in that growth within you. You know, each step you eat and give you strength each and every day. Whatever you're going through, where you're going through suicidal thoughts, depression, anxiety, overthinking, worries, panic attacks, um, self doubts even jealousy people i've seen people prayed about jealousy anything you going through he can deliver it from you and can a can a human do that hell to no 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 like just straight up so it's just something i want y'all to think about you know you there is gonna be good people that's in your life but that does take time and it happens unexpected you have to be aware of the bad people as well and always be observant to surroundings. Be observant to people that are not going to be happy when you get to your level of success as well. So, you know, and always have God hands over your life. He can be, make you aware of that too. But I just want to say, you know, y'all always, y'all always looking out, trying to look for good people and, and feeling sad that you're in your long season. Embrace your long season to, for you to work on yourself each and every day and kind of overcome 
your struggles or insecurities, um, self-hatred. You can fix all of that in that alone season. You don't want to be healing and having people all in your face. You don't want to be healing and you got a man and you ain't fully healed, you know. You want to be healed, have your confidence up and know how you want people to treat you, not having people when you unbroken. So it's a good thing to embrace your alone season, alone season in 2024 and the years to come because a good man going to always be here. Good people always want to gonna be here but are you gonna have a second life no so you want to make the best of your life and work on you first before you let all these fun things happen fun is always gonna be out there money is plenty for everybody everybody shouldn't be jealous of one another like so you know all that stuff gonna be out there you know work on you and your alone season and keep god and jesus as your first priority don't put no man, no best friend. I don't care if you've known them since you came out your mama belly. Like, keep it, be real. But even when you was in your mama belly, God was putting all the seasonings and creating, creating you and doing it. So, I want y'all to really, the man above and Jesus that died on the cross for us, y'all better don't play with me. So y'all make them as y'all best friends and stop look, looking for people and look for yourself and find and have them by your side. Stop looking and searching. Let them look and search for you. Let good people search for you. Let a good man search for you because they out there, but you have to work on you and be patient and they will come. Trust me, Lee. There's goodness for everybody. There's plenty of blessings for everybody, but a lot of people don't think that. But I'm here to remind you in this podcast, there's plenty of good things out there for you. Just be patient and stop looking for it and waiting. And let this waiting be you just glowing up in your season, glowing up in God's plan and throughout your journey with God. Let that be what you're working on instead of waiting on things. You can't, it, nothing is handed on a silver platter. So you have to wait for good things. But while you waiting and don't just wait, just work on to keep your glow up and keep pu pushing yourself to to better opportunities and and having God by your side in any decision you making in anything you do. So that's what I wanted to kind of put in this podcast as well. So I hope y'all you know understand this because it's an important thing to not to not wait on people. Waiting on people it's gonna take a long time. Waiting on God and Jesus. It's worth the time. They gonna do. They they gonna give what it's supposed to give. People is not gonna give what it's supposed to give. You know, it just it just is what it is. But you know, like I say, have God's hands over your life. You know, have them as your two close friends that you going that you know you gonna fully trust in the process, and that's gonna always be by your side and not backstab you up, y'all. But yeah, I hope y'all like this podcast episode. I hope y'all really take heed to what I'm saying and taking notes because I want to always, this is a healing podcast and it's going to be a lot of good things with it and y'all going to be a part of it. It's for you to be your, your own unique self and embrace your own unique self. So I am excited for the things to come with this podcast and for more things to come with decorations and got some things in store for y'all. So I hope y'all love this episode. Stay tuned. I have all my social medias linked down in the bio, even my Spotify, and I will soon have a website for y'all to be able to just click the link and get notified to everything. But I hope y'all stay blessed out there. Y'all stay safe. And put make sure y'all put y'all necks and backs into it, okay? Deuces.